principal clarinet of Orchestra Kentucky. It is so good to be here and I really miss my Orchestra Kentucky family, friends, colleagues, patrons, audience members. Jeff, I really miss all of you. My husband, Jimmy, who plays saxophone often with Orchestra Kentucky, we both have been home since March 12th when all of our concerts were canceled. So I've been trying to take advantage of this time by going through some old etudes, any of my music, just trying to find some new and different stuff to work on that I don't normally have a chance to work on. And so I picked up this book of Piazzolla Tango Etudes that I've had on my shelf. And what I just played for you was one of those etudes. I've been playing it for a couple of days now, and I really like it. I can sing through it. I feel like I can express myself. I can get a little jazzy and practice my vibrato, which we don't normally get to do on clarinet unless we're playing Rhapsody in Blue. So I'm really enjoying it. But to give you a little background on myself, some people may not know me, I'm originally from Huntsville, Alabama, Rocket City. And I did my undergrad at the Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music with Richie Holly as my teacher. And then I did a master's out in LA at the University of Southern California with Yehuda Gawad and Mitchell Lurie. And I loved my time out there. I moved to Nashville in 2004 and um, that same year, I was called by Orchestra of Kentucky to come play a concert. And here is a little known fact about me. I met my husband at Orchestra of Kentucky. He was playing flute on the concert and he turned around and asked me some clarinet pointers after hearing me play. So I started giving him some clarinet lessons and we were friends for a while and we got married in 2009. So, thank you, Orchestra Kentucky, for introducing me to my husband. <laughs> um, my main uh, job outside of Orchestra Kentucky is that I play in the recording studios of Nashville. I'm in the Nashville String Machine, and I play everything from church orchestral tracks, um, print music, to uh, video game soundtracks, um, rock and pop albums, you know, just whatever comes up. I am also in Chattanooga Symphony, where I play bass, E flat, and regular clarinet. Um, people ask me which is my favorite clarinet, and my answer is always whichever one I happen to be playing. I'm also in Nashville Opera Orchestra, and I'm in two contemporary chamber music groups called Chatterbird, look us up online, and Intersection. And I love those, playing very contemporary music, some crossing over into the pop world and such. Let's see, what else? Um, during my time, in isolation, I've been running just about every day, or I do some yoga at home. Um, early on um, in our quarantine, Jimmy got the idea to make a video of the old Statler Brothers tune, Counting Flowers on the Wall. I'm going to attach a link uh, to this post. And so he arranged it for sax quartet and he picks up a ukulele and I make an appearance playing clarinet and bass clarinet. Our kids um, show up and we have a special guest, Annabelle the cat. So we had a lot of fun making that and I hope that you have as good a time watching it as we had making it. <laughs> um, let's see, music wise. We obviously listen to everything in our house. 
I tend to be on the classical side of things and Jimmy being like a rock and roll sax player. Um, we have everything going from jazz to classical to rock, some old stuff. And some of our favorite ones to listen to, especially with the kids, um, they are eight and five is Pink Martini. We've got this Pink Martini album that we love putting on and having a dance party. Um, I always love putting Ella Fitzgerald on or Patsy Cline, anything that I can kind of sing along to. Um, Sting, really like Sting. Um, and then classical wise, I would say that my favorite clarinet player is a klezmer clarinetist named Leora Feidman. You should look him up. Look at his album, The Singing Clarinet. And klezmer is like Jewish folk music. And he's originally from Argentina. And he was my clarinet teacher, Yehuda Talad, his clarinet teacher. And so one of the high, one of the musical highlights of my life was getting to see Giora Feidman in concert at a clarinet convention in Salt Lake City years ago. And it was just, it was the most incredible experience just of him walking down the aisle and connecting with each audience member it seemed as he walked down the aisle you could just feel his presence and after the concert um, I went backstage to meet him and introduced myself and said that I was a student of Yehuda's and he looked me straight in the eye and he said oh my grandchild I am so happy that we could share in this experience together. It was incredible. He's an incredible human being. So I would say that is one of my musical highlights. Um, other musical highlights, um, you can see me in a music video of Jack White while I was five months pregnant. Um, I got to play with The Who last year when they did their world tour and they came through Nashville. That was pretty awesome. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope everyone is staying safe and well and I cannot wait for us to be able to make music together again and to play a concert for you. I miss playing for people and Doing it solo on a video is just not quite the same. I miss that audience interaction. So thank you all for your support of the orchestra. And I hope that I get to see you soon. Please say hello the next time I see you in concert.